Alright, welcome LEGO fans to a highly anticipated review here on Bilbo Brico 9's channel. Yeah, I haven't had a whole lot of advertising for this because I just decided, you know what, I'm going to finish rebuilding this set and we're going to review it yesterday. <laughs> so, <laughs> but here it is. And it so is. we reviewed this yesterday, guys. <laughs> No, we're you know what I mean. Today. You know what I mean. Uh, it comes with lots of minifigures. It comes with a giant scorpion, and if that's not cool enough, it comes with a pyramid and a little shark. Yeah, the nice part about the set: pyramids yes. just yeah, not cool enough. So we truck. have what? Six minifigures? One, two, three, seven. Seven. One is hidden. Yes. Actually, well, one of them is completely hidden. He isn't out there. Yeah, he's he's you cannot. There's no way that you can possibly see him unless right. you have X-ray vision. And even then, you'd have to have double x-ray vision because he's hidden through two That's what x-ray vision is. <laughs> Where you can see through... Well, actually, screen. then they'd see through the minifigure, too. <laughs> they'd see all the plastic components that make him up. Yeah, that's a good thing. <laughs> that's a good point. So, uh, where to begin? Well, I suppose we should begin with the specifics. So if you could look up the set number on those instruction manuals, and you can look them up. 7327. No, no music. Mm -hmm. I'll have to pick some good Egyptian sounding music for this. Oh goodness. Ooh, look up oud music. Oud? O U D. Oud music? Yeah. Okay. It's mm. Egyptian Ood. music. You just knocked <laughs> over a professor. <laughs> what is your problem? There is and a, the top result. Why would you do that? You're, you're not is supposed it? to be looking up music, you're supposed to be yeah. looking up specifics. Is it just me, or does this kind of look like Henry Jones? It does. It's supposed to do that. It does. Especially the hat. I think the hat is exactly It's the supposed same. to be that way. You do realize that, right? It's supposed to be like exactly like Henry Jones, really. Yeah, this is their knockoff of Indiana Jones, because Indiana True. Jones wasn't selling. Really? It wasn't? Well, I guess they did cancel it, so you're probably... Yeah, right. it wasn't selling, so they canceled it, which I think was really stupid. Yeah, I would have... I liked If I... I'm going to try to bring some of this back over the summer. So if, they, if they would have kept the Indiana Jones th mm -hmm. stuff when I got into Legos, I would buy those Indiana Jones stuff. So. While waiting patiently for Andrew to pull up the specifics, we'll go and look at the instructions. And the name oh. is Scorpion Pyramid. The item number is 7327. The... 792 pieces comes with Mac McCloud, Professor Archibald. Wait, 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 wait. I know this is Matt McCloud. Wait, move your big hand. That's Matt McCloud. That's Professor Archibald. Hale, Jake Rains. Wait, Hale? Hale, yes. Who's Hale? Can I see? Uh, let me oh, it's Archibald Hale. Hale. Oh, Archibald Hale. Oh, yeah, Professor Archibald <laughs> Hale. I'm like, uh, the girl isn't in this. So. <laughs> Um, uh, Jake Grains, two Anubis guards, Amset Ra, and Flying Mummy. Amset Ra is hidden. Yes. And he's the kind of like the main attraction mm -hmm. for the minifigures anyway. A Don't price retails I'm for $100. Sure when I'm getting the minifigures. Eight, the age 8 we'll to 14, no, released in out, January. So that we can do it for the no, minifigures. Right. What were you saying? Let me finish, please. Retailed for a hundred dollars. Ages eight to fourteen. Released January two thousand eleven in the theme Pharaoh's Quest. And by the way, this was I think the only theme where I got every single set from. It. What? Yeah, I really like this one. Dang. Okay. The and, and it's odd that we're reviewing piece. the biggest one first, but that's the one. That's the only one that stayed perfectly intact for the most part. So. Raw is missing a piece. Oh, it's in. It's in there. Okay, let me get it. Don't worry, it won't take long, you guys can keep going. Well, we'll go and look at the instruction manuals, of which we get two. <laughs> oh yeah, I call Amset Raw, by the way. Fine, I want the, the new I, I'll experience. take the, I'll take Professor Hale. So, of course, we built most, all but one of the minifigures first, then the car, the scorpion. All but one? And by the way, there is an enormous, enormous base plate in this set. That is one piece, minus the stickers. Yeah. So that's pretty awesome. That's yeah, pretty I awesome would take that right even if it wasn't in this set. I'd just take the base plate. <laughs> okay. I probably would still take the base plate. You'd have to take off all the other pieces first. I would do that. And six numbered bags so far. Okay, it looks like it's seven numbered bags then. This was a hundred piece or a hundred dollars. No, yeah, it's hundred dollars, but it was only like seven hundred or something pieces. 
A little expensive for my taste. Yeah. 80 or 90 I could have dealt with. And we get a lot of little oh, snakes well, and scorpions and I, stuff like that. I think like it's because too. of all the special molds printed. Probably. And many yeah, there are a lot of stickers, but there's also quite a few awesome printed pieces. And a giant base plate, of course. And a giant portrait of the screaming kid. Yay! So I'm Andrew's out of the way. favorite friend. Andrew personally knows the Screaming Kid. Yes. We're not kidding. Yes, we are. Yes, Maybe. we are. You'll never know. Right. I think they know. So, we'll go ahead and start out with the minifigures as always. Why don't we start out with the kind of boring minifigures first? So, like, the humans? Yes. Alright, well, uh, am I doing wants... those? Or, I don't, I can do just hail. I think one of us gets a, I think we each get a boring minifigure and a cool minifigure, so mm -hmm. I'll... What's I'll, my cool minifigure? Yeah. Okay. What's my cool minifigure? Um, you get the flying mummy. Oh, okay. You okay with that? I guess. It's a flying mummy. Who doesn't like flying mummy? Uh, this is the being attacked by This them? is the main <laughs> character who comes in just about every set. I think all except one actually. Yeah. So we'll start with him. <laughs> That's funny. The Jake one that something. Has a no. The one that no no wait yeah that's right he comes in a different or uh. he doesn't come in a different. One there. No, the one that he's not in it comes with Mac. It's like a motorcycle thing. Yeah. At first so, I thought it was the one with the girl. I'm like, <laughs> that's funny. So here he's he's kind of a boring minifigure. He's just got the black hair, um, goatee, and Sign an angry runs. angry smile. He does come with a cool pistol. And for this once, I don't have to say blaster pistol, I need to say pistol. He also comes with binoculars. And for once, these aren't used as something besides binoculars. <laughs> He's got some ammo strapped around him there. And pretty, pretty good printing. Boring legs, and a little bit of back printing as well. So move on to Magna Cloud now. Okay, should I uh, do a small... If you might have anything because of the blood. There's hardly any, but still. No. Okay. Just making sure. Ridiculous. Just making sure, son. You I done, don't You stopped want it to know. for less than that. He comes with a piece of dynamite. Which will be used for an awesome function later on. <laughs> Boom! And then the entire set blows up and there's. So when I throw finish. pieces, you yell at me when Faye North throws pieces. Well, that was pieces. funny because it was dynamite. And by the way. That was not funny. That was a main character. <laughs> yes, and he just threw him into the snake. Mac part. McCloud has an. <gasps> I oh said, man, I just realized yeah. this is a. Yeah, Civil it's. War, no, 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 no. Uh, it's supposed hat. to be a different color, a little darker, but I couldn't find it, so this is a Nazi hat. <laughs> so Mac McCloud is a Nazi. Yes, in Egypt. it's an army. Well, it's just an army hat. But that's colored for, specifically for the Indiana Jones Nazis. I don't care what it was specifically used for. That was not funny either. And his face is very, sorry. <laughs> and his face is very grim. And it determined, he has come. a little mark. We can't see. <laughs> we can't see it, dude. He has a little mark on his face. Thank you, Andrew. There. And he, he hasn't shaved oh, yeah. in a while. <laughs> and they shaved. and recognizes it's a face. He's ripped. That's kind of obvious. And he has blood on his shirt. No, he doesn't. That's mud. Oh gosh, I thought that was red. Or chocolate. <laughs> chocolate. Okay, I thought that was red. He had okay, a few yeah, chocolate bars before he came. <laughs> and then he has brown pants and a little bit of back printing. He's wearing suspenders. And the last of the humans. Which are the boring minifigures. This one is actually pretty cool. So I got the coolest yeah, of the boring. I, be I believe he's exclusive to this set. Yeah. Archibald something. Archibald, Archibald Hale. 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 So here's the hat, which is just the only thing that's different about it from Henry Jones's hat is that it's a different color. Slightly. And I shall behead him. How kind of you. There we are. No bad. No. No, we don't have any. Oh gosh. <laughs> that's disturbing. <laughs> what is? I that's threw his head in the snake pit. pit. <laughs> that's evil. <laughs> now that that map movies. is very cool. It's printed and it has a lot of the uh, landmarks from the entire Egypt, Egypt, uh, Pharaoh's Quest wave on here. 
including the obelisk, the pyramid itself, and the giant sphinx. Sphinx. Pretty cool stuff. Especially since it's printed. Here's his pack. Pack. <laughs> Man. <laughs> you really like that snake pit, don't you? Yeah. Uh, I think I like the scorpion pit. Yeah, I do too, because you can actually fall in the scorpion pit. Like that. Oh. <laughs> and yeah, just legs. like the main character just did. <laughs> okay. And I guess Andrew should go for his yeah. cool minifigure, and then you and then me. Yeah. If mine wasn't the main evil person, I'd say that you go last. Right, but yeah. That's the way it goes, people. What was that? It was a flying mummy. Everybody scream. Ah! <laughs> ah! I didn't actually mean... Okay, whatever, just go ahead. <laughs> Here is a spear. Mummies can't die. They're already dead. Exactly. Uh, here's a helmet. At least I can put that in the snake pit. No, no, no. Look at the detail <laughs> yes, on the helmet. Okay, okay. I, uh... What does it look like? An osprey. Ah. Osprey. Really? Is that really what it's supposed to be fashioned after? Probably not. I don't know if they have ospreys. You just said osprey out of <laughs> randomness. It's obviously after a bird of prey, though. Yes. Some kind of... It's probably a falcon. Falcon? That's how I see it. Who says falcon? Me. <laughs> wow. That's really weird. That sounds like Vulcan. Oh, God. Mummy head, and that one actually, I believe, is double sided. Yes. So make sure we get to see both of those for Oh, good. you can. I On the one side, his entire face is showing for the most part, except for his nose, but of course, no minifigures had noses. One of that. And the other side, only one of his eyes is poking out, which is disturbing. And then, we can throw that in the snake pit. Like everything else in that Andrew reviews. Alright. Now no, the coolest piece is the wings, yes. and let's get a good look at the printing on those, please. Pretty cool stuff there. I think they've used these for other things too recently. Maybe. I think they've used. The I dropped it that time. Okay. No, he didn't. He's uh, joking with us. There we go. Ornate printing, even though he's a dead guy. <laughs> Ornate for a dead person. Where Just wait did until that you go? See the last dead person. Oh. I thought you shut up. Oh, I mean, I see it. Uh, Fan or can you get it? Yeah. And pretty cool leg printing there as well. And now you can see the whole thing. <laughs> there you see torso and legs together. Hey, that's my mafia. Oh. So defensive. And does it have any back burning? Indeed. Indeed it does. So, not exclusive to this set, but a pretty cool minifigure nonetheless. Yep. Now, the next minifigure we do get two of, but they are awesome. They're completely identical. Anubis guards. Now, if this head does not impress you, I don't know what will, at least in the Lego world. Because this is an awesome head. It is just one piece. It doesn't fit over an actual minifigure head. It's just one piece, which is pretty cool. And they are modeled after jackals or another similar canine species. They come with these awesome curved swords, which were created specifically for this wave of, or line, I should say, of Lego sets. And they also have the scarab beetle shields. Which some of the mummies have in the other sets as well. Here's the printing. He's got some jewelry on. And a golden loincloth. Wait, can I see it closer? Do we really want to see that closer? <laughs> With blue sashes. 
they're very hard to see, but they're something they're tells me that if he could get his hands on it, Gollum would love to have a golden one. <laughs> He'd love to have a larger one, let's say that. <laughs> uh. And there's his back running. So we do get two of them, but as we already said, they're exactly the same. And the final minifigure was hidden in his sarcophagus until now. And of course, we have to show all the minifigures. So here we are. This is Amset Ra, or whatever his name is. I don't remember. Pharaoh. It's the Pharaoh from a long, long, long time ago. So we'll start off by showing you his headpiece. I don't know the actual... The, the uh, I don't remember that. what it's called. it's called. I've always called it a crown. Yeah, it was called his Egyptian crown. Yes. His um, specially manufactured Egyptian crown. Yes. <laughs> and it's got some blue lines on both sides and on the back. And you could actually and stick another piece on there. Yeah, you could. Like that's a headlight or something. Like that's what it's for, son. Now, of course I know that. He his head son. is awesome. If this would zoom in, it'd probably look better. Um, not this part of the face, but the other side is quite awesome. And he's got a golden loincloth, too. <laughs> Shh, don't point that out yet. There is his other face. That is a freaky face. Yes, it is. Not as freaky as the other one. It almost no because that one like you're yeah. expecting a yeah. a mummy yeah. in this true and then you turn it around and you see that that's a bit which yeah. I had an idea of what to say but I think we'll put on rather not have it in this recording yeah I wouldn't want to have okay. it especially if I know what it is which I think uh. I do now he has more ornate printing torso printing than the other mummy. And more ornate back printing. Of course he does. Because he's, he's the, the pharaoh. pharaoh. But then his leg printing is the same as the... Anubis skirts. Yes. Except for the bottom part, which is supposed to be colored as though he were a uh, mummy. True. Right, so we finally got through all the minifigures, but there are two mini builds to show you all mini in quotation marks. They're actually and we're somewhat actually large. missing a... Um, Oh, there's the head. Thank you. So uh, here is the tread truck, if you will, or the tank. The tread somewhere, truck. That the the normal people come in. That the normal people come in. The, only the normal people use this, not the special people. So I can't use it. No. Well, Aww. actually, you can because you're a normal person. No, he isn't. I'm a special person. No. He's not a normal. Everybody or a calls person. me special. True. He's an abnormal person. Yes, he's not special. He's just abnormal. So. We'll get into a political discussion. Oh, no, I will later. not get into ah. a political discussion with you, Faye. Yes, I you really will. will not. Yes, you will. So there is space for three in here. There's two uh, normal seats. And then there's a compartment, not a seat back here, for someone to operate this gun, which is modified. Um, it's supposed to be, if it's you would modded. Mind, um, modded. the first instruction manual, I need to point something out. It's supposed to be a machine gun in here, but I had to replace it with a Star Wars blaster rifle. You don't have a machine gun? I'm sure I do somewhere, but oh, man, I, I, don't have, I don't have more than one I or two. I can tell you love machine guns. Yeah, Especially in like the video game. What video game? Uh, Lego Indiana Jones. Oh, the yeah. Machine guns are the best. So that is the piece that we're supposed to have. But I, had, I couldn't find it, so I replaced it with a similar looking Lego Star Wars blaster rifle. And honestly, except for the specially trained, I don't think anyone would, anyone would notice it. Specially trained? Like a specially trained eyes. I didn't train my eyes to notice these things. <laughs> I just noticed them. So I'm obviously not specially trained. So that's a lot. Whatever. Moving on. Back here we get a pickaxe. And we also get Ooh, a rifle. That's an old rifle. Yeah, pretty cool. I think cool. I like those old rifles. Yeah, I like these a lot too. They came a lot in Indiana drum sets too. Really? Well, not a lot, but they did come in some of them. <laughs> Now there's the tread truck, the uh, treads, of course, and you have to press down on it a bit if you actually want the wheels and treads to turn, because like if you don't put any pressure, it'll just move like that. But if you want to move it, press down a little bit. 
There's the steering wheel and the windshield in there. Some headlights at the front. And this cool... Rarer-ish grill. Pieces. Is that it? I don't know. Rarer-ish pieces. I don't know those, much about car now. That and those two. Yes, these as well. I had trouble... There's one on here, but I had trouble finding another one. But I did find it. Yay! I've seen that piece before. Them. Yeah, they use them in some cars, but not a whole lot. And in some other sets, but very rarely. Let's go ahead and show them with the minifigures in here real quick. That guy looks like he's about to fall off. That's what he is. Watch. <laughs> Let's wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh. oh! Betrayed by his friends. Ha 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 ha! Not funny. And the other mini build, of course, is the giant evil scorpion that will eat your face. It's like, did something just fall? No. Oh. Uh, that's just it's my It's like team. something out of them. Out of what? Them. What's them? Some B-horror movie from the 1950s. Let me guess, you watched it recently. No. Good. <laughs> I've never seen it, I just know about it. Mm -hmm. So, giant evil scorpion. Who doesn't like giant evil scorpions? See, no one can say that they don't like giant evil scorpions. I don't like giant evil scorpions. This is one's about to eat you. And this actually has some awesome printed pieces, including the face. And the claws. And the two, these are, um, so we get four of these printed claw pieces. Two large ones and two small ones. And that is some pretty cool printing, if you ask me. <laughs> if you ask me, as well. What about if we ask Andrew? They look cool. There we go. Comes with eight legs, as all arachnids should. And there is a piece missing. It's actually the scorpion stinger. So you have the stinger. Exactly. That's so then this terrible. guy can just go. Pretty much, but he still has giant claws, and you can pretend that this is his stinger, I suppose. But yeah, I'm missing the stinger. Let's go ahead and show him what that looks like. Oh man, that looks so much better. I know it does, but. I lost it. It's his. Wait. Do you have I it? think I may know where it is. Let oh, me... I think I know where it is. I did clean some things out, so it might it. not be there. Is it there? Mm, not immediately, no. <laughs> Random Jar Jar Binks. I'm looking around, though. You can keep on going. I'll it's probably you. in the bin. The big bit of doom. Oh no, not or, the big it one. It may be in the small one, probably not. Let's Random hope. Jar Jar Binks head. Some, something tells me that if CinemaSins ever did Star Wars episode one, they just do one that said Jar Jar Binks. Ding! <laughs> yeah, I think they did one for that. No, they didn't. Actually they haven't done Star Wars one. There's someone someone made one that was just like CinemaSins though, mm. for the first three. Anyway, enough about that. So, Giant Evil Scorpion. With giant, evil, moving, snapping claws that want to crush people. And you can actually pick people up with that if you so desire. And it's pretty cool looking. But of course, you can't sting them without a stinger, but... Maybe you'll find it, maybe you won't. Where did you so, put the bin? The giant bin is under my bed. Oh, okay. I'll find it. Good luck. I'm falling it. So, 25 minutes in, and we'll finally go ahead and show you the actual <laughs> pyramid. Yeah! Finally! So, first of all, let's do a quick overview. So, outside... No, they just want to see it. Don't do an overview. I'm doing an overview. Okay. We have a giant obelisk outside. Lots of stickers. Those are not printed like the things we've shown you so far. Um, that some... is a big container. I don't think it's in here, actually. You've looked through a small <laughs> part of it, and you don't no, think no, it's... No, 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 because I don't see anything that was outside of it in here. Whatever, so just, just forget it. 
So, of course, the giant base plate underneath. I will never stop searching. So, you would think well, we're probably going to be here forever, man. <laughs> so, you would think that at first glance, you think this was a lot more pieces than it is. You'd probably think it's like 1,500 pieces, but because of the giant base plate that's only one piece, well, that's why it's only about 700 pieces, a lot of which are made up of the scorpion and the truck and the minifigures. So really, when it comes down to it, there's probably only about 500 pieces in this pyramid. Maybe a little more. Probably less, right? Well, probably right around 500. Right? So. Uh. so the giant obelisk, we'll just get that over with. Um, similar to the one that makes up an entire set. I forget the name of it. It comes with an airplane, too, and some flying mummies. Is all is Pharaoh's Quest done? Oh, yeah, it's been done for a long time. Unfortunately, they had some Yeah, they did have some good sets, and I hopefully we'll see some more over the summer. Right now. And hopefully we'll see some more over the summer. That'll be a lot small. Got the snake pit here that Andrew is obsessed with. Two red snakes and a green snake. Okay. That was great. <laughs> I didn't put the scorpion in, I promise. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Random, cons random female construction worker eating by snakes. Uh, now I wonder some... why you didn't take the male one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Let's You're just, really gonna let's stay just meditate that. on this. You're really no, going let's going to Let's not to meditate on that. that. <laughs> then we have some little really statues out here to to dictate the entrance to the pyramid. Those aren't if you statues. Tell. What are they? Statues are. What do you call them? Sculptures then? of people. What do you call these then? I don't know. They're not just sculptures of people. What? They're not statues. Are sculptures of people and mythical. What about the Statue of Liberty? Exactly. <laughs> that's not a person. That's a statue of a person. No, it's not. It's a statue of like some Greek goddess or something. Exactly. No, that's a person. Or a mythological it? being. I will not get into another mythological debate with you, <laughs> Fano. I really will not. Do these uh, look like anything that could be classified? What as do you a call statue? those then? I don't know. I, I call it a statue. statue. I call it a statue. That's weird. Moving on. Statues don't have Giant to be staircase, and there is a function. You they either have turn. To be based off of a human. A lot of these. No, they don't. Not all no, they don't. these golden things. They the golden form. Okay, enough of, that. enough of that. Not all of these golden pieces it's designate cool. functions, but a lot of them do, including these. This one, this one. You lift up on here, and we'll go ahead and put some on here just for the fun of it. What do you. Mm. What? What, do we, see. what do we do? Okay, You'll just flip on it. Flip or flip it. Do it again. Harder. No. Yeah. Here. There you go. There we go. And, and now they and now instead of flinging it away from the pyramid, they're flung even closer to the doorway that I'm trying to keep guarded. Mm. And if you look underneath there, there is a scorpion. <gasps> Actually, I don't think they'll hurt each other or anything. Uh, Maybe. Well, the snakes would hurt. Scorpions probably. And the scorpions, vice versa, probably. But the scorpions would not hurt the scorpions. Over here are more giant stickers that are peeling with age. Which is terrible. If they were printed, they would not be peeling with age, would they? No. But and then it would cost more. Inside here we have lots of treasure, but guarded by three. Well, it's supposed to be two, but in this case, I three in a third one. evil scorpions. Now, you did get three in a set, but the one is supposed to be underneath the staircase. And if someone's brave enough, or they have a gun, they can get the treasure. And have bam, the bam, bam, bam. Bam, bam, bam. Uh, bam, bam, bam. The scorpions are dead, and now you can get the treasure. As long as the giant scorpion doesn't come and eat him while he's in there and have a nice, free, easy meal. That's graphic. How is that graphic? Is there any blood? Graphic doesn't need to be blood. Or a snow trooper can come and kill the giant scorpion. And possibly break my camera lens. Wow! <laughs> wow! Andrew. I hope I didn't actually break it. If you did, you'd be paying for it, but yeah. fortunately you did not. More At stickers out front of hieroglyphics. And here's another function. You could probably guess what it is, but here's a giant Anubis head. And if you turn these dials, I'll turn the left when you turn the right one. The door opens! Oh, that is awesome! It's pretty Nicely cool. Done. It even opens! Well, it should, shouldn't it? No. It, you don't think it should open? Yes, it should. We still have two more awesome functions to show you. Woohoo! Including one that we'll go ahead and show you now, which is probably the best one in the set. 
Actually, no, we'll save it because yeah, we only see the inside see. first. Let's see the inside. And that, by the way, is where the giant scorpion is perched. These things kind of help, the, help it from falling off. Mm -hmm. Now, once the doors are open, the treasure hunters or the guardians of Egypt can walk in. But it's a trap, as Admiral Akbar would say. You pull that pin and it's down. undoubtedly a trap. Outfall three random rocks. You just pull this out. The rocks are in this tray, and they drop on his head and crush his skull. Mm -hmm. They're thereby crushing. See, his it's brain. graphic. And these panels can move if you want the pyramid to shake. It which I think moves. Is weird. Yeah, it is weird. It even moves. It's if you want an explosion, I guess. Which you like explosions? Don't I you? I love explosions, but who doesn't like explosions? I love explosions. See, even fan likes explosions. What do you mean, even fan? No, yeah, well, I, fan was a hater. Fan especially like this. What? Fan was a hater, so. A hater on what? Everything. Lego. Every, everything. I'm I'm not a hater on everything. Yes, you are. You hate. Whenever I you hate everything and yes. everybody. I do hate most people. Yes. There we go. That is slightly true. Now here Let's is just say that I dislike them. here is a podium where you can display the pharaoh's helmet or crown or whatever the proper term is. And that is all that's on the second level is the rock function and then the little balcony out what there. What about of course. to the left? Now to the left, it seems like there's one. More. Oh yeah, here is how the doors open. Rack and pinion design. If you know your simple machines, I'm turning it on the outside. The cog turns on the rack, and the door closes, and vice versa. And of course it's on the other side as well, but it's more hidden by this, which is what we want to show you now. Now, who could not resist this diamond here? Now, one thing I do find odd is that it's yellow. We don't see too many yellow diamonds. Crystals. Whatever. Crystals, see, sapphires, I, I, if, if it's colored, then I call it a crystal. If it's clear, then I call it a diamond. Whatever. Yeah. Now... If one is bold enough to take this diamonds, well, I hope they have some machine guns or an army behind them, because if they do that, this is going to happen. If you push on this to the right, well, actually, we should probably put some dynamite here to make this more realistic. Do I, what do I push? To the right. Oh. oh. To the right. Like, you do it. The, the right. That way. And, ready for this function? Yep. Boom! Boom! Ah! The wall comes flying out, and out comes an awesome sarcophagus, if you ask me. And inside, of course, is the pharaoh himself. That's where he was hidden. Oh, I needed to close up again. And well, let's go ahead and show you how this works inside here. It's still pretty dark, but you can see the technic pieces inside. Would you mind operating the function so we can see the move? Um, yeah, so I didn't see it. It just pushes that up. The sarcophagus has these pieces underneath, it moves along the track, pushes the door out of the way, making it look like an explosion, and the sarcophagus comes out. And, uh, here is the bottom of the sarcoph sarcophagus, already an interesting piece, I've never seen anything like this before or since, but the lid is even cooler. In fact, it's quite awesome if you ask me. Uh, similar to like a haunting carbonite sort of piece. Mm -hmm. And we'll go ahead and put it on the rest of it. Or fan roll. Yeah, fan roll. Fan roll is special. No, he's abnormal. He's not special. He's just abnormal. <laughs> <laughs> you make me feel sad. You make me feel sad. And we'll go ahead. Don't open it. No, I want to show how it looks. Hang on. That's why. What the <laughs> heck? Oh you'll my god. You'll see you later. You'll yes, see you later. you'll see you later. <laughs> You will see. You will see. We got some randomness coming very yes. soon. Oh, yes. Although it gets more random than what you saw. Yeah. Oh, really? What the heck? So, I what believe... What the heck did you do? You set this up wrong. Look at this. It's bent. It's not supposed to be that way. You're going to break it. Just... Dude, you <laughs> broke it. I told you, this is a 95% complete review. So, there you have... The Scorpion Pyramid, or the Pyramid of Giza, or just the Pyramid, whatever you want to call it. It's just it's a done. pyramid. It is a square, a rectangular pyramid. 
A rectangular pyramid? What? Don't you mean a pyramidical pyramid or something like that? Well, I mean... A triangular a, a pyramid. A square pyramid. A square no, a pyramid pi is a shape. Yeah, yeah, yeah but like a square a pyramid... Oh, no, no, no. This it's is a rectangular, a rectangular pyramid, pyramid because see? it only goes... See? Did not, not tell its you. Its base is rectangular. Yeah, see? But it's... not the actual pyramid. Yeah, but it's... No, but it doesn't matter. Yeah. The base is rectangular, as long as so it's a rectangular pyramid. So you think it should have a... A, a, a rectangular a pyram pyramid. pyramidical base? No. That's what you I just said. I never said that. No. I'm just saying. Just it because it's... Just because... Ah. Just because its sides go out like this means it's a pyramid. When I say a rectangular pyramid, it just means that the base is rectangular. But that's it's a pyramid, base, okay? That's all the base can be. It's a honestly. pyramid. The scorpion has spoken. Because <laughs> I'm so The banning scorpion. Is, oh, I'm gonna destroy I don't even scorpion. think we actually show how uh, articulated the tail is. No, you didn't. Articulated. Goodness, Bill. One, two. I think I'm trying to count. One, two, three. You're trying to count. Four articulations. He learned how to count to four. Yay! 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 One, two, three, four, seven, five, eleven, nine. Nine hundred million! <laughs> Am I the only one who knows how to count in this company? Maybe you are. He's, he's the math guy in the company, so. Yeah. That is your Does pyramid. anyone know what the lateral area of a cylinder is? No one cares. Oh, I can't wondering. stand figuring that out. Okay, back to the pyramid. Any thoughts? So long. Any thoughts whatsoever? It is amazing. Yes, we know that. Any other thoughts? Stormtrooper! No. No, it's no truth. Any thoughts about the pyramid? Considering the pyramid. It's awesome. It's, it's awesome. the biggest one in the Pharaoh's Quest wave, uh, because it was only one wave. I, I would take just the base, even. Yeah, even yeah. just the base. Seriously, awesome. I take the base and try to make something and probably fail, but oh well. I do my best. And I'd still probably be able to get to something. And you still have a, a pit for something, too. Wouldn't that Yay! be cool? Yay! I just love Don't pits. touch him. Don't touch the sarcophagus. When I was a kid, <laughs> and, see, and even today, I, I've been obsessed with pits full of creatures. I just yeah, love... Yeah, we know that. I, or, or even um, just dangerous things, uh, like pits with spears. Or don't! Pits with... Pits with Okay, I think it's time for me to just take this and hold it from you. Pits with here. scorpions or snakes or postasuchuses. That was one I loved. Okay, a you have me on that kid. one. You have me on that one. See, I'm weird. What is that? A, a postasuchus? Watch Walking with Dinosaurs and you'll find out. What is it? It's a kind of uh, land crocodile that's hmm. not around anymore. But it was around at one time. Supposedly. Supposedly. They found fossils of it. It was around. They find fossils. Fossils of... means. Okay, look, they find a fossil of an ape jawbone and a human skull and say it's an old ancestor of man. Okay, it was some kind of croc crocodile thing that was not a crocodile and it's not around. Most anymore. likely. Okay, Sar Most likely. Sarcosuchus. I'm giving Sarcosuchus them the benefit. Sarcosuchus is not around anymore. I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt here, okay? It probably was. I'll not get into a paleontological know. debate with Paleontological. You no. I really will not. Anyway, the pyramid. Let's get to the ratings. Right. I will rate the build, of course. Uh, I'll rate play, I you guess. Better. So the build. If the giant awesome base plate is not enough, we get we get rifles, we get pistols, we get these rare pieces at the front of this car. We get scorpions, we get snakes, we get printed pieces on the scorpion. We get sarcophagus. Yes, we get sar we get whatever it is. Sarcophagus piece. No trooper. No, we do not get. <laughs> Just not to confuse you. We get obelisk pieces. Uh. We get crystals. We get all kinds of. We awesome get a stuff. pyramid. I'm giving it a ten. Wow. Do you think that's fair? Yeah, I think, I I think that's pretty fair. Considering I the would not personally give it a ten, but I would give it a high rating if I was rating build. Think yeah, of the I'm amount giving... of uh, printed pieces there are. Yes. Printed pieces alone. There are a lot of stickers, but there are a lot of printed pieces as well. There are more stickers. Oh, and I forgot to even pieces. mention the map. So this is definitely a 10. You, you did mention the map. I, I did? No. Like, oh. you mentioned it way earlier, but well, yeah, yeah, I didn't mention not, it. Not recently. Ah, okay. So, a 10 for the build. What do you say for place? I... Um... 8. Okay, we were going to say like 8 point... I was going to say 8.5. Yeah, so I was five to nine, personally. So we'll round to eight. Yeah, well, I mean, you got the car, you've got 
flipping staircases. I think pits that full probably of creatures, the only scorpions, traps, set that sarcophagus explosions, and snake pits. I think yes. the only set that would get a true 10.0 would probably be the Death Star. I, I give Minds of Moria a 9.8. Or mm. nine point nine, because it isn't quite up there. Right. But so, this set has enough. But you, it's a nine. I it's think. very playable for sure. Yes. If you want a set for play, this is a great set to get. Mm -hmm. And finally, what do you say for display? Ten. No, no, no. Nine point eight. Yeah, not, not quite a ten. The pyramid is a little small. The pyramid is small, and putting the scorpion up is a bit awkward. Yes, and it is liable to fall down. Yes, and especially during transport. It's a bit awkward in some areas but other than that it's really good to display you can do a lot of things with it so overall an amazing amazing no set. trooper out yes we're in the desert now we could put a sand trooper in but he's way down there now. i feel like we've seen that far so poor sand trooper completely awesome set it took almost as long as the palace cinema and the tower of orthodox to review even though it has way less pieces so that's saying a lot so, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully you'll see some more Pharaoh's Quest reviews over the summer. I'm thinking at least probably two more. Uh, the giant snake one and the obelisk and airplane one are, for the most part, intact. So I think we'll be seeing those. So, see you soon. Lots more retro reviews coming. And I think we have some extreme randomness to show you, yes. which is really creepy and disturbing. Trolling! Mummy! <laughs> Saruman!